Well, summer's coming to an end, and that means that Labor Day is fast approaching. This used to be a holiday where we celebrated something fundamentally good about our nation, the grit and tenacity of hardworking, everyday Americans. But when we hear the word labor these days, we're more likely to think of corrupt union bosses trying to pull political strings than salt of the earth workers. Ever since Barack Obama was swept into the White House on a wave of union support, his administration has relentlessly pursued sweetheart deals for big labor. They attempted to pass card check, a piece of legislation that would have destroyed the right to private ballots in union elections. They've conspired to make it illegal for private companies to move operations to right-to-work states. And now they're attempting to limit the time it takes to call a union election so that employers have a harder time making their case to workers. This trend isn't just limited to Washington either. Throughout the nation, greedy union bosses are pushing state and local governments to the precipice of economic disaster. The small town of Central Falls, Rhode Island, recently had to declare bankruptcy when public employees refused to take a reduction in their pension benefits. In California, teachers are calling on taxpayers to bail out their pension fund to the tune of $56 billion. And of course, we all remember the protests in Wisconsin over public employees contributing a little bit more to their retirement funds at a time when the state was out of money. Workers, the backbone of our economy and a bulwark of our culture, should be honored. They're our friends and family. We don't begrudge them a fair wage for their labor or the right to retire in security, but we do resent the union hacks who use them as political pawns. In the long run, workers always end up losing in these union quests for more power and more money. Just think of how many workers in the Detroit auto industry lost their jobs because of unreasonable union demands. Or how many will lose them when states like Illinois and New York finally have to face the fact that their finances are unsustainable. We think these folks deserve better. On this Labor Day, we celebrate working Americans, and we recommend that they look for new leadership. Otherwise, they won't be working Americans for that much longer. That's this week's Freedom Minute.